Hi, I'm Linda Schurz Allen, and if you're getting ready to take a basket class, you're going to make a basket on your own, here's some introductory information that might be helpful. Tools that you might need. A tape measure, a pencil, your scissors, uh, your kitchen scissors will work fine for beginners, and once you get weaving a little bit, you might want to have a diagonal cutters. These are some of my favorites. They're very sharp, so you have to be very careful. Another one of my favorites is a heavy-duty packing tool to use um, packing your basket tight and also when I do my rims. <clears throat> Another tool, Tupperware orange peeler. Works great for cutting and tucking spokes in. <clears throat> and your reeds. There is a flat, flat reed. It's flat on both sides. We have a flat oval, flat on one side, oval on the other, used usually in making your rims on a standard basket. And we have what we call half round, which is very heavy and firm, flat on one side, and quite rounded and quite thick. This is used in the uh, pack baskets if you want to do a really heavy rim, a heavy basket. Another is round reed. Various, they all come in various sizes. <clears throat> Beginners usually wonder, how do you tell right side from wrong side on the reed? Your instructions may say to mark the right side or the wrong side. So I have soaked this piece. You soak it in warm water so it bends easy. When you bend it, one side will feel rougher than the other. That would be your wrong side. So. Lots of times you can see like a little fuzzies will come up here or you just feel that it's rougher. Bring your ends together and you're going to mark the center. We're going to put a pencil mark on the center. And we use a pencil because it rubs off afterwards easy. It doesn't leave a mark. And there's some little basic information to help you get started in your basket making.